Hi, my name is John and I run a machine shop called NYC CNC. As a job shop, I get requests from customers all the time for materials from stainless steel and aluminum to plastics and Delrin, lots of different materials. It's really important to me that I can quote those jobs accurately and that means I need to know I've got the tooling on hand that can handle it. I've been working with the folks at Tools Today on just that for a few years now. They're a great company, they have great customer service, great technical support, all of their stuff is in stock. It ships very quickly, same day. I was working with them and we'd done a video before and we wanted to do another one to show off just how high quality their tooling is because fast shipping, great customer service is really important, but at the end of the day, the tooling has to be rock star. And their tooling is. They came up with this really cool design of this Eagle coin with their logo on it. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna walk through the cam side and how we choose three different tools from them, a quarter inch, three flute carbide end mill that we're gonna use sort of like a roughing end mill to hog out as much of the material as we can. And then a 1 16th inch ball nosed tapered carbide end mill that will go through and it'll create most of the profile of the coin itself. You'll be able to see it really take shape, but then it's the one millimeter tool that we're going to come through and will just give phenomenal cut results. It'll be a beautiful looking piece when we're done and it should be a fun little project. So let's dive right in. Okay, now before we can make this part, we've got to program it and I love using CAM software. It has come so far, it's amazingly powerful and it's a, what's going to let us take this really cool Tools Today coin and program the tool paths with the three tools from Tools Today that will then program put into our uh, CNC milling machine with G-code and it'll actually run the part. So let's take a look at this stuff. The software we use is it's pretty expensive because we spend hours every day in this software as a business, but there are lots of great software packages out there if you're a hobbyist or sign maker or an architect. And I, I don't want to mention, all, I can't begin to mention all of them, but one of them that comes to mind that's a lot more affordable and can do exactly what we're going to do today is one called Cut 3D. So check that out if you're trying to do similar kind of work and engraving with Tools Today tools. But like I um, mentioned a second ago, we're going to start with a quarter inch standard end mill, if you will. So if we take a look, it'll look like this. The flutes aren't in there, but you can see it's a flat bottomed end mill. And we're, do what's gonna, and we're going to do what's called a plane operation. And the idea here is we want to get rid of all the material we can with that end mill because it's a lot stronger. It's a bigger end mill. It's got a lot more rigidity and we can really cook getting all that material out there and that'll let us come back with these really precise fine tools to carve the detail but that stuff you have to go a little bit slower with so i'll turn the tool path back on and you can see this green line here represents that quarter inch end mill so even on the three dimensional areas it can't get all the way down there but it's pretty cool it's going to be able to get you know remove or rough out if you will that um, as much as it can and what we can do in CAM is simulate what it will look like. So take a look at this. Well, I'll go ahead and rapid through that part. And what we should see in a minute here when we go machine it is after it's done with that quarter inch end mill, you can kind of see the outline of that eagle. We've got a large flat area here. We've got some flatter areas here. It's trying to 3D carve as best it can with that tool to get us ready for the next tool. And the next two operations, they're similar operations. The first one we're going to do is take a little bit more of a um, progressive cut. So we don't want to, we don't want to, you know, drive that tool into a bunch of material. So we need to go ahead and come down in layers like you see here. And that's going to really start to have the shape come alive. But then after that, we'll use the same tool and we'll do kind of what's called a finish pass where we'll come through and at this point you could almost call it done. It's going to look pretty darn good. Let's take a quick look at how that will look. So after that first sort of roughing pass, if you will, it'll look like so. And actually it's pretty cool. You can see the blue is what the new tool had to do, whereas the green is what the first tool did. And then if we go through that finish pass and render it, you'll see we're just about done with that light blue. It came in and cleaned everything up. 
The Tools Today logo here in the middle looks really good. The stars are pretty well defined. Um, it looks pretty decent, but to make this thing really awesome and really pop, we're gonna come through with the Tools Today one millimeter ball carbide end mill. And we're gonna come through and we're gonna clean that up. And if you look at the step over, we're gonna do really small steps. Each one of those is about half the thickness of a sheet of paper. And it's actually, I think, very beautiful tool pass you can see in the red here. This is similar type of stuff as they would do to say make uh, injection mold molds where you really want that detail and quality. And if we go through now and we render that last operation, boom. Now you can see where the red came through. That's the one millimeter and it really cleans stuff up. The text along here, all of the stars and the detail, pretty darn cool. So that's a little background as to how we program the cam on it. Let's hop over to the machine, make some chips. All right, here we go again using the quarter inch tools today, carbide three foot end mill. We're moving at about 45 inches a minute here, pretty quick. You can see a nice chip stream coming out of here. And we're just going to take it step by step, come across the face of the coin, and like I said, rough out as much of that material as we can. Taking a look here, we can see just how cool this is with some slow motion footage. This is about 240 frames per second. And you can really see the exact chip that we're making there, the size of it, and how this Tools Today tool is ripping it right out of there uh, in a really, really cool chip stream. Some amazing footage to see this at work. Okay, let's fast forward to the rest of this so you can kind of see in a much more uh, real-time or sort of accelerated view how we're clearing this face off with that quarter inch tool and you can start to see the eagle shape come to life. Okay finishing up the quarter inch end bill here we've got a little bit of what looks like this coin eagle tools today shape. Let's switch over to the 1 16th tapered end mill and we will now start making some much much finer cuts This is where the cam software really shines. You can see these little back and forth there. It's really going to get in there and use this tools today tapered end mill to really create uh, a really good amount of detail. A detail that will come through and clean up yet again with the ball end mill. And here you can see in the slow motion footage just how beautiful that looks. You can see a little bit early, it still looks like a little bit of a rougher shape. We'll take a look at some footage later where you'll start to see where this tool is going to get us in terms of how complete the coin will be. A much smaller chip, this is where we're focused here not so much on material removal quantity but quality. And here you can see now, jumping forward a little, we're really starting to get somewhere. You can really see the definition of the coin. You can see some ripples as well. Don't worry, we'll roll out when we're done, those will all be gone. Okay, fast forward in here again just to get through it, and you'll see this is moving a lot quicker. Pretty cool to see the precision of CNC equipment. Wrapping that up now, we'll switch to the one millimeter ball end mill. Amazing how small the tip of this tool is. And we're gonna move this pretty quickly here because we're gonna fast forward the footage rather so that you can get a feel for, for what it's doing. And here you can see incredible precision as it moves left to right, creating the wings of the eagle on the Tools Today coin. But it will be a great surface finish. And it's again, that one millimeter ball end mill that's letting us really get in the nooks and crannies and create all that detail. Here, now you can start to see some slow motion footage of it. I think this is just mesmerizing. You can see we're taking steps over that are only half the thickness of a sheet of paper. So you're really, you spend more time to create the coin. It takes a little bit longer, but it's well worth it because again, the result, the quality of how this coin is gonna look is, is, is great.
So there we have it, folks. I think that turned out beautifully. A phenomenal piece of brass. You saw that tools today. Tools made a, did a beautiful job cutting through that. The end product, I think, is something really to be proud of. It really, it just, it's really fun to sometimes take a step back and have a part like this and a, and a fun little project to be able to show off what these tools can do. And whether you're a cabinet maker or a sign maker or a woodworker or a machinist, an uh, architect, if you're using a CNC router or a CNC mill, Check out the folks at Tools Today. They've got a great website. You can give them a call. Like I said, they've got a great customer service department and really top-notch tooling. And like I said, I like it in today's day and age when I know I can get something shipped quickly and free. And when it shows up, it's what, exactly what you want and it's gonna work and it's gonna produce the results that you expect. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope you like the coin. Uh, that's it for now, folks. Take care. I hope I'll see you soon though.